Hello, I'm Brady Bird from DB Maestro. And I'm Janine Crownover from Delphix. And we're here to show you a integration between DB Maestro and Delphix. And what you see on the screen is the actual architecture set up for this demonstration. You have a, the Delphix dynamic data platform that is synchronizing with an Oracle source database and will be provisioning to the target servers, the dev and QA database to emulate a data ops platform. In the meantime, we have DB Maestro monitoring each of these development changes that's going into the databases. So it's tracking the versions in the pipeline, which I'll show you here in the next slide. So if you can imagine the, the, the development changes here being, being pushed into the pipeline uh, as versions, we've got them here, 132, 133, 134. These represent each batch of scripts going in uh, and changing the dev environments. But periodically, testers need to have, have the benefit of fresh production data. And that's where Delphix comes in. So they can take an image of production and push it onto one of these environments. But when that happens, we then have to detect where that is in version space and replace those development changes as needed. So we're going to show you that live. So when we, what we have here is we have a, a DB Maestro pipeline representing that. You can see we're at version five in the lower environments. Production is a much lower version. And so what we want to do now is simulate some new data coming into production. Uh, and then we're going to show how we, how we go through uh, refreshing the environments with Delphix. So here I've got some sample data in, in uh, SQL Developer. I'm going to run that data here. So I got some rows inserted. Let me commit that. Uh, and then let's Janine tell us about the, uh, the, what we're going to do here with Delphix on that. So with the Delphix Management Console, what you're looking at is the data sets or virtual assets within Delphix. You have the source identified with a um, timeline. And Brady, if you go ahead and take a snapshot of that source. Okay. With Delphix, we can continually sync with the source by taking incremental backups or even as often as a log file switch. But for this demo, we're going to take an on-demand snapshot. And it, Similarly, we can also take the dev databases and QA databases and synchronize with them. So while that's going on, um, let me show you a little bit about the what's been go happening in development here. Uh, so what we have in DB Maestro, there's been several packages run here. Uh, the, um, the one, two, and three, each one of those packages has made some change to the structure of the database. Uh, so we've got track of all of that. And what DB Maestro does is it records the structural differences um, between uh, each of the, these versions so that we can always find our, our place in that version history of the environment. Let me pop us back here. Let's see how we're doing on our snapshot. That looks all completed now, Janine. Right, so let's go to the dev database on the target database signs there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a refresh of that production, but before we take a refresh of production, I'm gonna ask you to take a snapshot of the dev database. There we go. The value of Delphix is developers are able to actually take current copies snap copies of their database prior to refreshing just in case they ever need to get back to before anything had changed on them. So that looks completed. So now let's take a refresh from production. If you click on that circular tab there, yes. It's going to ask. We're going to take that most, the most recent refresh, click there, and then select next. And then submit. So with Delphix, the developers are actually provided the ability to refresh their own databases um, when set up for self-service. And as this is refreshing, of course, as Brady has said, all the work that they have been working on is now being overlaid with the production instance. And I think this is where DB Maestro is actually going to be able to help in this overall data ops pipeline. And that is right. So as soon as this refresh is complete, we're going to have a fresh copy of production data 
um, but we're going to have a non-copy of all the changes that we've been making for the last few weeks. So uh, let's let that refresh run through. And uh, a little bit of explanation as that's running here. So that's coming into this target B environment. Uh, and so what I'm going to do in target B is run what we call a rollback. Now remember I said that DB Maestro is keeping track of all of the changes that each version represents. So if I roll back to the current version, what DB Maestro is going to do is it's going to calculate the delta between the structure of the Delphix of the refreshed Delphix database and where the data where the database was at version five beforehand, and it's going to build me a script to match those two up. So let me double check that that's completed. It's all run. It's all run here now. So I can come here and run my rollback. Now this is right. The rollback process is actually just generating the script that represents those differences. So that'll take just a minute here, uh, and then we can go see what that script was that got generated. And this is important to know because oftentimes when I'm working with our clients with the refresh process, they're, one of the biggest questions they always ask me is, what happens to the work that I was working on when I refreshed? How do I save that? And so Delphix and DB Maestro have teamed up to actually help that process along. Thank you, Janine. That is exactly what we've done here. So here's my V5 rollback. Here's the script that it calculated out. So it's going to add these columns back in. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run that. And so if I run that on the uh, target here, that's an upgrade to the rollback. So here it goes. So that should run it all through here. And now, now what we've done is we've brought ourselves back to the, uh, the, the, the current dev revision. So let's see how that's expressed in the, in the databases. So we added these, uh, these items here, several Portsmouth addresses and one Key West. And so if I go to my, my target B environment now, and let's go to our locations here. Uh, let me refresh my connection. So here they are, the Walker Street, Fleet Street, Duval Street. We've got our fresh production data. But then also note that we have got our climate and elevation columns, which are not present in production. So in our source environment here, uh, the locations table just ends with region. So there you go. You have it all together uh, and with Delphix and DB Maestro, keeping your pipeline up to date on this. So what are we going to talk about next, Janine? Well, next I was thinking we would actually show an automated process because this was very manual and what we offer with Jenkins and the Delphix hooks and the whole CI, CD pipeline complements, we're actually going to have an automated feature. And we can show it end to end with both products working together. So thank you all. See ya. Perfect.